Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing our friends at FaveDiets.com how to make a quick, easy skillet version of turkey tetrazzini. Now this dish will mimic hamburger helper when it's done, so the kids are going to love it. But between the lean ground turkey and tons of veggies, you'll love putting this one on the table too since it's a much healthier option. Now for this dish we'll need one pound of lean ground turkey, one small onion diced, one bag of frozen classic vegetables, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder, make sure it's gluten free, one and one half tablespoons of cornstarch, one third of a cup of Parmesan cheese, two ounces of American cheese, one cup of water, plus two tablespoons of water to mix with the cornstarch, two cups of milk, 8 ounces of gluten-free elbow macaroni, and some salt and pepper to taste. Alright, place a pot filled with water onto the stove and turn on the heat so it's ready to cook those macaroni when we are. Now in a large skillet over a medium heat, crumble and saute the ground turkey with some salt and pepper until lightly browned. Then add the diced onion and saute for an additional 2 minutes. Add the bag of frozen veggies and saute for another five minutes. Now mix the cornstarch, bouillon powder, and two tablespoons of water together to form a smooth slurry and set aside. At this point, we can drop the elbows into the pot of boiling water and start working on our sauce. Add the milk and one cup of water to the pan with the turkey and veggies and bring the liquid up to a boil. Then lower the heat and stir in the cornstarch slurry and simmer for two minutes. Stir in the grated cheese, then stir in the American cheese until everything is well blended. Then turn off the heat. When the elbows are done, drain them and add them to the pan with the turkey and veggies. Then stir everything together until it's well combined and let it stand for five minutes to allow the sauce to thicken. Then stir it again right before serving. I had mine with a sprinkle of cayenne pepper, which I found to be a nice contrast against the mild flavors of this dish. I hope you'll give this one a try, and if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more free healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon. Thank you.